Hi, it's Valerie, and welcome to your OT coaching tune-up. Today I wanted to speak a little bit about core wounds. Core wounds are experiences or traumas that occur at some point in our lives that we create a belief around. And these beliefs we can go throughout our entire lives experiencing over and over again, and they often leave us not feeling so good. What happens is that According to Gay Hendricks, who is an executive coach, he wrote a book called The Big Leap. He talks about what happens is, is when we start to experience pleasure for an extended period of time, because we're not wired for that, we're more wired for fear, we upper limit ourselves. We trip our upper limit, meaning we do something to essentially sabotage ourselves and pull ourselves down. And one of the ways in which we can do that is through our core wounds, these deep, deep beliefs. And recently what happened is I wrote about in my last newsletter, the Archangel Academy and the importance of having believing eyes. Well, Giovanni Marsico, who created Archangels, created a Facebook page for us to be able to stay together, to share information, resources, really support one another and inspire one another. And it was interesting because before every time I posted or before anything else like that in my involvement with it, I always had this feeling of anxiety. And it was so interesting to observe. And so I started to think about, well, what if I start to look at this and meet this differently? Well, what is this really about? And so every time that happened, I allowed myself to feel that feeling. It didn't feel good but I allowed myself to start being comfortable, more comfortable with sitting with it. And then I started to, per the um, information I got from a woman that I'm doing healing with in Boulder, Colorado, Annie Roberts, through Qigong Healing, she suggested that I start to write down whenever I start to feel this feeling and then go back over time to look at my life to see when else have I experienced those feelings and those thoughts. And so I did that. So I started to look back and I was like, okay, so I've experienced this and this and this. And I looked back in my life and I've experienced this feeling so many times. And what I also noticed is that there were times and moments when I didn't. And when I didn't, I moved forward in something. And I oftentimes had an experience of success. So what I started to do as I was peeling back the layers and seeing what was there, and I started to drop back into this feeling, I had this hit, I had this moment of, oh my God, I know what it is. Now I've always thought like, oh, you know, I'm not good enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not smart enough, and these are core wounds that a lot of, many, many people have. But all of a sudden I had this moment of one that I didn't even know it was there, and it was that I don't belong. And I've had this belief my entire life. I don't belong to the family I came into. I don't belong on this planet. I don't belong in this group and that group. I don't belong. And this played over and over again. And that's what hit me. And it was so powerful. And so what I started to do instead was I used it in meditation. So now when I sit, I imagine myself connecting with the earth, earth and using the mantra, the repetitive sound again and again of I belong. I belong here on this planet. And then I would feel myself surrounded by all the people in my life whom I love. And I would again repeat, I belong. I belong with them. I belong. And then I would tap into source energy, to spirit energy. And again, I belong. I belong. And so as I continue to do this, it's like building a muscle, right? You don't go to the gym once and expect some difference. You go again and again, and it's, it's over and over again that we start to experience results. And so that's what I've been doing and allowing myself to create a new belief that I belong. So if you find an area of your life where you keep hitting that same wall, where those deep core wounds keep showing up, consider first to really just watch it, feel it, see what thoughts are coming up, see what's happening in your body, and then write down all the times in your life when you experience that over and over again, as well as the times when you didn't. And as you start to peel back the layers, you're going to start to see, and it's going to unveil this belief, and it's going to hit you, and you're just going to know it, and you're going to feel it in every cell of your body. And from that point, imagine coming up with a mantra as you sit and meditate, drawing in that mantra, and using that mantra throughout your life. So give it a shot, because you're worth it. And you know our lives are very much based on the beliefs that we have. So... How true are your beliefs to who you are in present time? It's a really, really important thing to look at. If you need any support around this, you can contact me at ValerieAtOrganicTwist.com. 
Also check out the Organic Twist web website to see what else we have going on. And as always, expect great things.